Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a video about sequence prediction. Sequence prediction is a common component of many IQ tests. Such tests often have questions in the form, what comes next? 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, blank, blank. And then the testee has to fill in the blanks. Prediction is a basic component of intelligence. Intelligent agents usually need to predict the future so that they can compute the consequences of their actions to allow them to choose between them. It's fairly easy to see via introspection that the human brain is constantly predicting what is about to happen next. If what actually happens doesn't match what was expected to happen, then a bunch of significant sensors fires off in your shed to alert you that your model of the rhubarb is out of date and that it is in need of plungers. Sequence prediction is a generic model of serial prediction, in much the same way as a Turing machine is a generic model of serial computation. Serial models can also be used to model parallel systems, although slowly. Similarly, serial predictors can model parallel ones using serialization or other techniques. How do sequence prediction systems work? They work in a broadly similar manner to data compression systems. They develop a model of the sequence using Markov models, Bayesian networks or other technologies, and then use that to make future predictions. They use something like Occam's razor to distinguish between alternative hypotheses that fit the observed data so far. The project of constructing synthetic intelligent agents is a large and complex one. Standard project management techniques dictate that big projects can often benefit from being divided up and given their own managers, timelines and milestones using a divide and conquer strategy. One important component of many such projects is a sequence prediction engine. What sequence should a machine intelligence project predict? Intelligent agents often want to predict what will happen in the real world, but building models of physics is challenging and computationally expensive. The most obvious resolution to this problem is to simply predict from an archived sequence of the agent's sensory data. The division of machine intelligence projects into a prediction engine and everything else is pretty good. However, it's not perfect due to phenomena involving selective forgetting. Rather than remembering the entire history of the contents of their senses, real organisms selectively forget unimportant events while retaining their memories of important ones. That complicates sequence prediction, since the sequence being predicted from is incomplete and contains holes. Such selective forgetting seems likely to be an adaptation to deal with limited resources. The simplest way to deal with this problem is simply to ignore it. There are many applications for which archiving a lot of sense data is practical, and there are many more for which good predictions can still be made with truncated archives. More storage helps to reduce the significance of this problem. It's not an enormous issue. The sequence prediction problems actually faced by real agents typically have the feature of incrementally predicting the evolution of a continuous stream of sensory data. That means that an agent's model of past sense data can be reused from one moment to the next. If an agent's senses tell it that what has actually happened matches what it predicted would happen, then that shows that its existing model is good and doesn't need updating, and can be reused to make the next set of predictions. Sequence prediction engines have many important applications that will help drive the funding of their development. People want to be able to predict things. They want to be able to predict stock prices, the weather, the news, climate changes, earthquakes, famines, plagues and other disasters, and so on. Lastly, one important thing we want computers to do is to help with automating the writing of computer programs. That's currently a time-consuming and expensive task that occupies many humans. Sequence prediction is a problem that can help with that. The best sequence prediction agents will typically generate programs expressed in Turing complete languages, where executing the program generates the observed sequence and projects it into the future. The task of generating such models from observed sequences involves finding a short program that produces the specified output. Not every computer programming task is of this form, but a good many are, and the effort to build sequence predictors will contribute significantly to the effort to automate computer programming tasks. So, to summarize, Sequence prediction is a key component of most machine intelligence projects. It is also a relatively modular component, and so represents a problem that can be split off and solved independently. A complete sequence prediction component would have many applications, and these will help fund projects that aim to create them. Um, enjoy!